having kids, you are very afraid that you will lose out and you are just wanting to give your children everything and want them to succeed in their studies. You think that that is the definition of being successful in life? And I think after I come to Timor, I, I see children who are uh, carefree. So I think that gives me a perspective also that life is not just about doing well in studies, it's about being a blessing to others. Wow, very good, Mimi. Life here is uh, definitely slower pace, so I'm really thankful for an opportunity to watch my daughters grow up to do things together with them. And as a result, you know, we have a closer relationship. I think it's good that the daughters get to see daddy much more. And hopefully when she's older, she can understand why we're going to come here. We decided to just come here for a year. So I think it's been a good experience for them to be exposed to such a international community. Shalom's uh, vision is actually to write a new chapter in the history of Timor and we hope that the kids that have uh, graduated from Shalom uh, will not only do well in their academic results but to have good character so that they can lead the country. The greatest challenge is uh, teachers embracing technology, teachers embracing change. We are now introducing tablets to them and from there we hope that when the teachers are ready, the teachers can then introduce the kids to technology. They are just like us, you know. <laughs> they have the same concerns about their children, about education. They have hopes, you know, that the future will be better. Yeah, it gives me a sense that I really feel sad when I leave because I have a friend yeah, that is close to my heart. <laughs> yeah, they give us the, the best, you know, so we are very surprised, you know, so that teach us that we can give so much more. Shalom, we accept everybody in the community. School fees are just a few dollars a month. And even a few dollars a month, 25% of the children don't pay because they can't afford. If you can give in the education, you can give in the nutrition. So allow us to feed the children at least one meal a day. And of course, you can give to expand the building so that we can have more classes as well as becoming a senior high school. It's true, one thing you realise that you don't have to be someone that's especially spiritual or especially talented, you know, just give what you have yeah. and uh, the people here will be blessed and encouraged.